Welcome to Israel Islam and End Times. My name is Daniel Sackham. I'm the founding director of the ministry. It gives me great pleasure to be able to interview Dr. Michael Brown. He is widely considered to be the world's foremost Messianic Jewish apologist. He is an international speaker on themes of spiritual renewal and cultural reformation, and he has debated Jewish rabbis, agnostic professors, and gay activists on radio, TV, and college campuses. He holds a PhD in the Eastern Languages and Literatures from New York University and is the author of 27 books. Um, I believe that it is important that we understand what is at stake in the James White, Michael Brown kerfuffle. And so I'm going to just be constantly reminding us of that. So before I get to this Facebook group of I, last I checked, I thought they were Reformed Baptists. I thought they held to a confession. I thought they had principles. I guess I was wrong. We're going to introduce that with this post at Pulp and Pen. James White angrily attacks Chris Roseboro and discernment. Now, James White has been busy attacking anyone who criticizes the hyper-charismaniac false prophet Michael Brown. And when I say false prophet, I mean he has false prophecies on audio and video, and he's not repented of those false prophecies. So just because you endorse false prophets doesn't make yourself a false prophet. It does make you someone that no one should listen to or participate with in a Christian way. But he actually is engaged or has been in the past in false prophecy. We have those video clips from the Brownsville revival. He is a dangerous character. And so Dr. White has been going out of his way, Mr. White, to attack viciously anyone who holds now don't get mad at me over the, he doesn't have a real doctorate degree sorry it should it should mean something that goes for ravi zacharias or james white or anyone else for that matter he is a scholar but he's not a doctor not by any not in any real or meaningful sense now he's working on a doctorate when he gets that i'll be happy to refer to him as such but i think he's fallen out of favor with me and i'm kind of stopped bending over backwards to be uh Incredibly nice to him, as I've been in the past. Um, supposedly, he holds to the 1689 London Baptist Confession. I don't hear him, and this is one frustration I have as a Reformed Baptist, as someone who teaches the catechism every single week in Sunday school, and I have for seven or eight years, as someone who holds to the London Baptist Confession, and I reference it regularly in sermons, and I teach it, and I live by it. I get a little bit frustrated that James White simply doesn't promote his own confession much at all. 